folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. You have the Dow down 20, Nasdaq's up eight, SPs are off three and a half. Gold contract down $3.80, trading at 1,299 an ounce. Silver up five cents at $20.62 an ounce. Platinum off five at 1,482 an ounce. Copper down two and a half pennies at 322 a pound. Light sweet crude down 78 cents at $100.89 a barrel. Bonds. Check it out, folks. The 10 years up eight ticks at 125.12, 30 year 21 ticks at 138.30. King dollar up 193 ticks at 81.31. The euro is off 28 at 134 and the ends trading out there up 26 at 102.12. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? Now, in the world of the markets, let's take a look at them. What do you have? The surprises, folks, are going to be to the downside out here. What we have is this. Yesterday, you went to a lower low. It rejected lower price, and it had lighter volume. The bottom line, we were going at a cash S&P. We got down to 1967. The 1967 was going into the July 17th bar the july 17th bar had a lot more volume than we came down on yesterday so it rejected that level had light of volume you get a bounce guess what bounce out here today's on light of volume what you also have and check this out intraday if you happen to be watching tiger tv and tiger tv folks is very easy to get just go to tfnn.com and on the right hand side you will see the actual tv playing right now uh, the voice isn't on that TV so that, uh, you know, people don't have to worry about when you're pulling up a page, you start uh, yapping in, uh, on the page. Uh, bottom line, you hit that button, you bring up Tiger TV. What I'm going to show you here first is this. This market is rolling, number one, but it, it's un not unique in the aspect of how it's rolling. What it's doing is it, it's basically moving from number to number, exactly like a normal market versus a Fed-induced market or whatever folks want to basically say as, as markets go higher. You know, we, knew, we know we've been higher, no volume behind the move and all of the above. The bottom line, what you're going to see is that this, <laughs> I'm not, I don't expect a pullback like we had in 2007, that's for sure. But this market is a trader's paradise right now. I mean big time too, not in a small way. I don't encourage day trading. Uh, but bottom line is if you are a swing trader, even on a weekly basis, monthly basis, whatever that is, pay attention because what has happened is that the price, the volume, they're hitting left and right all over the place, intraday, daily, weekly, you, you name it. If we take a look at the, the cash S&Ps, I mean the uh, S&Ps right now, uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put them on a three day so you can see what we had this morning first off. So your first expansion on the way up this morning this is what you have. At uh, 10.20, you got to a price point up there, at, uh, the, the S&P's, um, 1979. We did that, folks, on a 10-minute basis with 37,000 contracts. Well, guess what? That 37,000 contracts was going into 98,000 contracts. It's like not even close. Can't handle that. So what does it do? Comes off that level, and then, ba boom, volume comes out of the move on the way downtown, 72,000 contracts on the way down. Now, I'm going to bring this, I'm going to flip this to a, just a two-day for a second so I can show you how this works out. So, first off, you, you're going into a higher volume characteristic. You can't handle it. Market can't handle it. It pulls back. Well, then what is it going to do? It's going to go back down to we had a, basically a high volume low. Well, we had the high volume low at... 1100 hours yesterday, 1020 to be exact, at the 1960 area. That characteristic, the first leg down was 77,000 contracts on the, uh, actually more than that, 70, 72,000 con 77, contracts on the way down. Okay, so watch what happened. This morning at 1050, your first leg down had 72,000. Your second leg down, what was going to test it, was 69,000. You go, you go lower, you come into the bar, 
with 54,000. So you had to 10, uh, 1967 with 54,000, and you're going to 1963, which had the 77. You get another bounce. Now watch this a bounce. It's so cool. It's insane. The bounce itself just came up to ICE when you're basically looking at the market as to how, what did it do. And ICE is where the downdraft started. You get that fast expansion with volume, expansion with price. We get up there, and it stays up there for 15 minutes. It stays up there, folks, with 8,000 contracts. The first, at, at 1240, it had 14,000 contracts. At 1250, it had 8,000 contracts. At 1300 hours, it had 15,000 contracts. Stayed up there for until, let's see, yeah, until 1350. So we stayed up there for... We stayed up there for an hour and 15 minutes, and then guess what? Ba-boom! See ya, don't want to be ya. 58,000 contracts on the way down. The 58,000 contracts bought you to, to a price point of uh, the 1968. You're at 1969 right now. Bottom line is that what I expect you're going to see out here is this. Okay, so now we got, uh, what, 45 minutes left in trading. The... What you're going to have, if we bring this into the spy for a second, is that now what you're going to have, the, the correlation out here today is this. You are going to have uh, 56 million shares that was going into 76 million shares. And what the market is basically looking for, which it looks to me like we're going to get real easy, is that a close in the SPY under 198.26. We hit 198.45. That'll be a test of that level meaning even high it's just uh oh this is pretty sick oh this is really sick actually so check this out i love this we not only got over the downdraft that was on the 25th but we got right to the bottom of the high which is 198.45 we hit that right to the tick that's crazy when that happens it's just nuts but bottom line is it did so what does that line up for us right now okay well that lines up that you're going to have a failure there. We start, let's walk through the gold market next. We're going to walk through all these markets. Gold, what do we have with gold? Now, this is really interesting with gold. GCQ4. So I just finished the gold report. The gold report's going out. And if you do get the gold report, check it out. Because there is a buy in that gold report today. We've, we've, we own... We own about a half dozen equities right now. There's one more today. But I'm going to walk you through this for a little. Because we have some divergence. And watch what it is here. Inside the gold market itself, we're down three bucks. The volume's not bad. The volume right now is uh, 169,000. You know, that 169, you can say, is pushing into 179. The larger issue is that it's pushing into the day of strength, which is 238. That's in, the, that's in the contract itself. If we go over to the XAU and the HUI, what you're going to see is this. XAU and the HUI are at higher prices than they've been in the last couple of days. However... I suspect at the end of the day, they're not going to have a lot of volume. And this is where the divergence is taking place right now. A lot of the gold and silver equities are refusing to back off their highs. What is also going on, though, is that at these highs, they, they are going to need more volume to sustain price. So, a little tricky here, but I'll watch how this shakes out. Well, I, we, we're gonna, I'm speculating how this is going to shake out. So, when you stay at highs... Let me bring up uh, GOLD for a second, show you how this shakes out. So GOLD right now, Rango Resources, has been at these highs for approximately three trading weeks. The high out there is 89.89. You know, we haven't hit that, but that has volume up there. Today, it's like, oh, man, you know, you need more volume. You had 313,000. Yesterday, we did 380. You know, really, to get up into over highs, we need about a million and a half. This phenomena here, right, is about in about half the gold stocks right now, folks. Most times when you see something like this, and now this is the kicker, that we know we have a higher high with volume. This is telling me that this is going to be a very large ABC structure up. It's building cost to blow through all those areas, and we will get the volume in this market. Our phone number is 877. 927-6648. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. Give us a call, folks. Come right back.